What if I told you that there's a better product than Excel and Google Sheet? It's called Grizz, and it does exactly what those two do, plus even more. What I like about Grizz the most is their widgets. Why? Because we can view everything in one single place. Instead of jumping from one table to another, we can create our own widgets and our own look for our own sheets. So let's go jump over to Grist and show you what I'm talking about right now. This is the Grist dashboard, and if you guys want to check it out, that link will be provided in the description. Now, Grist has a really great free plan that you can use, but if you're looking to use this with team members or if you need more advanced features, I do recommend that you have a look into the paid plans. Now, let's jump over to my Grist dashboard. This is the main overview on my dashboard, and we're able to view my documents, workspaces, and I can create a new one right here. Plus, there's the templates. I do recommend that we start with templates because you're going to be able to understand how powerful Grizz actually is. So let's go into discover more templates. And we have the featured templates, which are the popular ones, class enrollment, investment research, lightweight CRM, and a lot more. In this case, I'm going to use credit card expenses. Okay, so let's go ahead and select it. And this one is filled with data because it's showing us how it's actually used. Now, first of all, we're viewing charts. And yes, you can create charts on Google Sheets and Excel, but these ones are more dynamic and we can add more widgets to this. So for example, these are widgets and we have the settings on the right. For example, I selected this one and we have the widget title, the chart type. For example, if I want to change the chart type for this one, I can change it to bar, which is what we're viewing here on the left. We have the donut. I'm selecting it. Let's wait for that to load. And there we go. We have a donut view for this. We have uh, the settings for this one, for example, whole size right now it's 75%, but we can make it smaller if we like. And we have the area chart, line chart, and so on and so forth. Let's go keep it on the pie chart. Okay. So what happens if I want to have another view? Well, we can add widgets to this, just like we saw these right here. Well, we can add new and we have a widget page. We can add widgets for tables, cards, which are really useful. Cards are great for CRMs because we're able to view the data from users on a card. And we have card list, charts, and custom. In this case, we're viewing chart. For example, if I wanted to add a chart, I add it here, page, and here we go. Here is our data. So in this case, we are going to grab the data, for example, from the card member and we don't want the date we want the expenses expenses amount here we go we have the expenses and we can change it to for example to pie chart and that's what we're viewing here on the top now you can see how easy this actually is to create and it, it can get even more complex if you want more data or change the type here for example on this particular sheet we have different for example by category and in this case we're viewing a card on the bottom Remember I mentioned that we can use these for CRM because we have a clear view of a uh, user. In this case, if I select this, it's updated automatically here on the bottom. We don't have that on Google Sheet, for example. In this case, we're viewing the information here. We have the date, the card member, description, the extended details, category, the amount, reference, received, and it's a really nice view. We're viewing this information as if it were an app. For example, we have the information here. Sure, it doesn't have the UI, but we're not looking for nice. We're looking for data and it, it has it in the right way. For example, there's other views for the other sheets that we have right here and they all complement each other to connect one with another. Let me go ahead and open up another uh, template here. Let me go here quickly. Let's go into discover more templates. Let's check out the light CRM, lightweight CRM. And here we go. For example, we have the company details, the due date, the to-do items, and on the right, we have one of the widgets, which is card. On the bottom, we have a table, that's, which is the interactions. So we're viewing two tables inside of one clear view. Instead of going into another tab, another table, another sheet, no, we can have them here and we can view them together. So it saves us time, plus we have a more clear view of what we want. If I click on any one of these, it's going to update on the right. See these? we go that's what power that's how powerful grist is now grist has um excel formulas and it also has python formulas all we have to do is connect it by let me add a column right here let me make this bigger let's add a column here and we go name it new and let's just say that we want to start a formula we add the equal sign to create our formulas. Depending on what you need, we're able to create it right here. 
Now, if you want to change the type of row right here, actually column, let's go ahead and delete this. Let me go into the options Okay, right here. And we're going to, where's the options here? Column options. Okay, so right now it's by default column type, it's text, but we can change this column type to numeric if we don't want them to type any um, letters. Integer, integer, toggle, date, date time, choice, choice list, reference, reference list, attachments, and it gives us all these options to make it more customizable. The column behavior, the column label and ID. It has really advanced features that if you dig deep into this, you're going to see how powerful it actually is. Now, let's just say that we want to save this. Let's go here. We have these sharing settings or save settings. We can save this copy to use it, return to original or compare to original. This is actually pretty interesting. For example, if I create a copy of this and I start working on it, it's not going to modify the original worksheet. So for example, I start modifying the new one, but the other one stays how, as it is. But let's just say that we made a mistake and you know what? This new copy is not working out. Well, we return to original. But let's just say that this new copy is exactly how you want it and then everything worked out fine. Well, we can replace the original and we can also compare to original to see what changes are made. We can also download the CSV, XML, XLSX and Google Drive if we like. Okay, so all those options are available. There's also access rules for your sheets. What does that mean? Let's just say that we want to give access to another team member. Well, it's not just about giving access to a specific sheet, a specific row. We can actually give them specific access to particular rows, columns, and sections. So it's super advanced. As of this video, is in it's in beta mode, but obviously they're working on it and it's going to work fully functional once they, they are out of beta mode. Document history. So let's just say that, you know what, I made a mistake and it's been saving right here. So for example, every two minutes, three minutes, three minutes, and every change that I've made, well, practically every change, it's going to save a snapshot. I can open the snapshot compared to current, compared to previous. So don't worry, it's been saved. The activity, in this case, no activities for now. The code view, if you want to view it as code, and you have all these options available. Let's go back into our sheet right here. So like I mentioned before, one of my favorite parts about Gris is their random views that we have in one single place. Instead of jumping from tab to tab or to, from sheet to sheet, we're able to view everything here, especially that card view is fantastic. Now, I know that you're not viewing the full potential of Grist because I know there's way more to what I'm actually talking about on this video. But trust me, if I were to talk about all the features that Grist has and how they actually work, I'm guessing this would take about 200 videos because they have a lot of features available. Now, the good thing about this is that they have a lot of help documents, plus they have great support. So if you're looking to grab Grist, like I mentioned before, that link will be provided in the description. I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is Assmaster, and I'll see you guys later.